five, we've arrived at kind of the end. This is just gonna be the takeaway. The takeaway of what I've talked about and all the implications. Or a part of the implications, like I said, this is, this is like the minimum of what I could talk about in this short amount of time. So all of that stuff comes together. It's such a huge problem and people just don't understand what a big part this is of trying to make a rocket not freaking fall apart during launch, after launch, having to relaunch. And this is everywhere. This isn't just rockets, obviously. This is cars, trains, airplanes, ships. Oh, propellers and ships. I don't even want to get into that because they have to deal with like cavitation. I mean, we have to do that too, at, like blades and in, in turbo pumps that's a whole different story. Anything really that has to, that is being exposed to vibration, they have to figure out how to make it not break. You know, there are a lot of very specific manufacturers for components for aerospace specifically, but I think uh, the problem that we're facing though right now is that all of these components that were, that have been produced for the last like 60 years of aerospace, they're all for like, one flight, dump them. The nuke line is supposed to fly 25 times. And so the problem is that all of these components nowadays that are not uh, beefy enough to withstand 25 flights or whatever, and they're just going to crack due to fatigue. So fatigue is another thing that I haven't mentioned yet, but just imagine something doing this like all the time, all the time, all the time. It's gonna wear out right back here. This is where it's gonna start wearing out because it's just it's just been doing this forever and ever and ever. Even bellows, you know, bellows can be used to kind of isolate certain systems. You have like, you know, a bunch of tubes. Oh, tubes. I call it rocket plumbing. A lot of them are really big. Some 160 pound valves, 160 pounds one valve and there's like i don't know 20 of them at the butt of the rocket they're gonna get excited and they're just gonna shake like crazy it's insane it is insanity they're just so big and heavy you can't put isolators in the back like you can't have cracks in there or anything like everything's gonna flow out have that like you can't have that long tube connected to the outside of your rocket and like shaking the outside of the rocket because it's just it's gonna mess with everything else like oh my god it never and there's always something else. Like I said, prior to these reusable rockets, there was always like, well, one flight in the ocean. There it goes. What happens now is that everything has to be beefed up. You have to make it either heavier or just like, ro or more robust. Uh, the problem with that is that that's gonna make your rocket a lot heavier. And that's a bad thing because the heavier your rocket is, the less you can shoot up or you have to add more fuel, which that means you have to have a bigger tank, which makes the tank bigger, which means you have to add more fuel, and then you need a bigger tank and you have more fuel. It's just like, it's a vicious cycle, and it, that's just not how it works. So we have to figure out how to make these parts work and still keep them at a low enough weight to not cause extra, uh, extra weight on the rocket. A lot of times what's going to happen is that you're gonna have to try to design and build them in-house, which is good and bad, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. It's just some very interesting problems. I learn more things every day. I have just like scratched the top of this. Like I am not very deep into this topic yet, but I love this stuff. This is so great. I love my job. So yeah. That's what I do with rockets. If you would like to know more about these things or know specifics, obviously not the origin specific things because I can't tell you those. That's shit, don't even try. Please just leave a comment and I will call you back. Actually, I will just comment back. I'll make another update video and explain what I meant. Follow me, tag me, and all of those things that you do on Instagram. I'm very new to this, as you can tell. Ask me questions, let me know what you think. Bye.